Well, here we are. My name's Nathan Breen alongside Jock Campbell just before one of the premier events on the program of the Surf Life Saving Australia National Championships. It's the Open Women's 2km Beach Run Final. And we're going to talk to you about some of the key favourites and key contenders because it's one of those races, Jock, where you never know who's going to turn up. There's plenty of unknowns, but we do know a couple of athletes with some form heading in. Well, even just today, when you say surprises, we had Sienna Bush turn up who's an under-17 who just represented Australia in the under-20s cross-country world champs. Yeah. So, and Sari McKee, who is, I think, is one of the favourites here, came second last year. She had a great battle with Sienna and, and got the chocolates. Yeah. So I think she's going to be great. Uh, Chloe Gentle came third last year, I think, and she's come first previously from her last up in Mooloola Bar. But Ricky Marais, Nick, she's the form athlete, form runner of the year at the moment from the North Bondi Club. And there's certainly some City of Perth as well. We know they had their home ground advantage last year on the very soft sand. It's a little bit uh, more forgiving here at, uh, in Queensland, but Nikki Fred and I reckon is going to be one to watch as well. And Sophie Francie of North Bondi, we know they're going to be strong in the relay, but what can they do here in the individuals? Well, I think Sophie might, it, this, I think it's her first year of Opens and she's won several um, relays, open relays with Ricky. Uh, I'm not, I think she might be out of it, but she'll be up there. Um, but the City of Perth girls, yeah, they're always giving us some stick and they take it out hard. So really looking forward to seeing how Nikita goes as well. Well, let's see how it all unfolds here. The Open wins 2 kilometer beach run here at Aussies 2024. Silver medal position, so just about to go here in the Open Women's 2 km Beach Run Championship of Australia. The conditions are pretty good, not much wind, a little bit different to some of the state championships. They're almost set here, Jock, and underway. So you can see Chloe Gentle and Ricky Morozhnik wanting to set the pace early here as they try and find their rhythm. It's really hard to find that optimal pace, isn't it, in the first 250? Yeah, and I think from last year's race, where it was a real slow tactical race, a lot of the girls want to go pretty hard talking them on the the race so yeah Ricky Ricky there ahead with Chloe following close behind uh, and then Sari McKee there I you know, just saw her in shot just in fourth position after that great race she just ran with uh, against Sienna Bush they come into the first turn and, and those three are one two three yeah, so you can see already them starting to test. Sometimes it doesn't get this spread out this early, but obviously a slightly narrower course than what we're used to, and obviously the 250 loop, and Ricky Mirojnik is setting the tempo here. Sari McKee, remember, she's backing up from that under-17 title, still looking comfortable, but it's very early days. And Blanche trying to keep in touch as well. So this is 500 metres in. Yeah, they're really sorting it out now. I mean, the top six is you know, pretty much the ones we talked about. There's Emma Blanche in there who came fourth at at last year's Aussie title, so she's in the mix as well. But, you know, Ricky's looking really strong and it's starting to spread the field out. So they're Ricky, Chloe, and I think that is at the city of Perth girl, yeah, um, Nikita, she's coming to it as well. But really the main contenders out in front now. Just had plenty of minor medals. The lady out in front, Ricky Morozhnik, the North Bondi crew, very strong. They normally have plenty of support as well. She's opened up a margin of 25, 30 metres. Similar gap back to Sari McKee holding the bronze medal position at the moment. You can see Nikita Fredenay of City of Perth up there. And Emma Blanche not out of it either from Wanda. Yeah, um, Sari's got a really strong finish. Uh, it really surprises me she's dropped off. It means that she really had to push hard in that under 17s. Um, and Chloe, She's still in with the mix because you've got a storming finish. Uh, and there's the city of Perth girl, Nikita, um, looking, looking pretty comfortable. And even the second Bondi girl there, Sophie, she's uh, looking really strong. But it looks like Ricky's cleared out here. Yeah, so we've got Bernadette Williams. It is actually there as well, Swanbourne Netherlands. Uh, so we'll see how she... Look at the margin now. It's not an unassailable lead. We know how quickly ground can be made up if you just put a little bit more lactic in the legs. So Chloe Gentle, she knows what it takes to take the title here. Sari McKee still with plenty of company around her as we get a good shot of the body language here. She looks like she's hurting a bit, but she's got plenty of a buffer zone here to Chloe Gentle in second. Sari McKee shifting back to fifth position now. And as we said, Bernadette Williams, I think she's holding the bronze medal position as we get a good shot there of Emma Blanche, champion race walker as well. Very versatile athlete. Yes, Australian champion uh, a few times, but yeah, it looks like Ricky's got away here and they've caught Chloe. Uh, now it'll be really, she's burned herself looking for that win. Uh, now, will they be smart enough? Will she be smart enough to hang on to those two girls? Because uh, we know she's got a powerful finish. So let's see what happens. 
It certainly is, and you can see they've shortened the stride up a little bit. As long as you keep the rating and minimise that contact time on the ground, you can't get much reaction force off the sand here, particularly in the back end of this race. And you can see this is some good running here from uh, Bernadette Williams and also the City of Perth competitor in there as well, Nikita Fredenay, doing a great job here. Yeah, it's, it's really um, heating up this race now. I think Ricky's got I think she's done enough. She is hurting, but she's really smooth and aerobically I think she's the strongest set of the others. And she knows some of these girls, Bowie and Sari, have great finishes. So she's really taking it to them early on. Um, and even in this late stage, I think she might have done enough to get the win here, but who's going to get second? Yeah, so North Bondi, Swanbourne, Nedland, City of Perth and Wanda, your top four clubs here. And the battle for the points as well, those top six crucial. So the final stages here, she's been runner-up and been in these, those minor medals so many times here. But we're about to, I think this is the final turn, Jock, I think, as we get ready to see who has that final burst of finishing kick because we've seen some monumental uh, deficits being closed in those final 250s in previous editions of this race. Yeah, and last time we were up here in Mooloolaba, it was actually Chloe who ran down Ricky from a... Not from this far back, uh, and it looks like Ricky's going to turn the table on, on Chloe. They're, I think Chloe's got every position in this uh, in this top six except second. So let's see if she can get a second okay, today. Chloe, um, City of Perth, to oh, I think this him. is really set up for Chloe, and look, there she goes. She started to motor, but Ricky, Rick, Ricky Morojnik, um, really a dominant performance today, and I don't think they'll get it from here. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to, and she's only got about 100 metres to go with that as she works towards the line. She's lifted a little bit here, so North Bondi looking like they're on their way to victory here in the Open Women's 2 kilometre Beach Run Championship of Australia. Have a look at the surge here coming from young Chloe Gentle. She's really pushed the pace here. And Nikita Fredenay as well separated herself from Bernadette Williams, who put herself in the hunt. She was aggressive, she was assertive, and she was not too far off the podium there at all here. And what a race we've just seen, the Open Women's 2K run. It always has plenty of changes, plenty of heart rate spikes, and it North the Bondi again, the program, so nice oh, the hardest well. event for mine, well, no, Nathan, as you know. Um, and I think that's the first City of Birth medal in the Open Women's since the great Alison O'Toole won her eighth title. Yes, that's right, eighth title, a Hall of Famer. Um, what a great race. Well done, Ricky Morojnik. Well done, Chloe. And well done, Nikita from City of Birth. Great race. Incredible stuff. So another fantastic edition of the Open Women's 2K Beach Run here at Aussies 2024. We look forward to the World Championships on the Gold Coast as well and being back on the Gold Coast again for in 12 months' time for the 2025 Aussies. Great racing for Renfrew.